In this video, you will learn how to create fade in fade out effect in Blender. Blender version 2.78c is being used while creating this video. This time we will not delete this cube, rather we will use this cube itself. Let's add a plane by going to the create menu and clicking the plane in add section. Move this plane little bit down from the bottom of the cube. Scale this plane little bit by pressing S key on keyboard and adjust the size moving the mouse. Now select this light right clicking on it. Now come over here and change this to blender render to cycles render. And expand this right side panel little bit to unhide some icons. Go to this object data button. Set the size value to 1, and click the use node button. And set the strength value to 2000. Now come over here and select the cube. Come down here and change the viewport shading to render. Now come back to this panel and click on material icon. Click this use node button. And change the surface type to mix shader. Now click the first shader option and select transparent BSDF. Again click on the second shader option and choose the diffuse BSDF. Now from here, you can choose your desired color that will be applied to the cube. I'm going to use the blue color in this case. Now here, this FAC value defines the transparency of the object. To add a keyframe, make sure that your current frame number is set to 1. Now set this FAC value to 0, that will make the object completely transparent. Hover the mouse over the FAC value box, and press I, key on the keyboard to add first keyframe. Now set the current frame number to 20, and pull this FAC value all the way up to 1, that will make the cube completely opaque. Hover the mouse over the FAC value box, and press I, key on the keyboard to add another keyframe. Now set the current frame number to 30, don't make any changes in FAC value, Hover the mouse over the FAC value box, and press I, key on the keyboard to add another keyframe. Now set the current frame number to 50, and pull this FAC value all the way back to 0, that will make the cube completely transparent again. Hover the mouse over the FAC value box, and press I, key on the keyboard to add last keyframe. Now come here and set the end frame value to 50. Now go to this camera icon for render setting, now go down to the little folder icon, choose the directory where you want to save the animation. And click the accept button. And choose your animation format from here. Now go down and expand the sampling section, now under the sample, set your render value. More values give you better quality but takes longer time to render. We are going to set 50 in this case. Now go to the top and click this animation button. The rendering process has been started. Rendering process has been finished. Go to the render menu and click on play rendered animation to see the result. Now as you can see, Fade in fade out effect is working as expected. And this was the very quick tutorial about how to create fade in fade out object animation in Blender. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, check up my other videos, and leave a comment.